I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I like your interior decorating. It really reflects your personality. I mean, I like it. Hello, hello, good morning. Hope you're doing all well. Unfortunately, my camera is playing up, so I'm, I'm using my little pixel avatar, but that's okay. You don't need to see me because we're all about killing humans over here as robots. Um, it's a lot of fun last time, for sure. I was actually debating whether to play this or some Rocksmith this morning, but um, this one out, I think, I think this is the way to go. Uh, welcome in culinary and tongs. The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. Thank you, robot lady. That's a quote from Jean Jono, a French writer. Um, so, I'll do a bit of a recap before we start. Um, things may not have gone to plan, but um, we killed a little girl, which was okay. Well, we, for we forced a, um, a robot that was playing up to... Um, take out his own life with a little girl. So that was the first sort of mission accomplished for our robot agenda. Then we um, went to a crime scene. Um, we discovered a rogue robot in the attic. And when we were in the interrogation room, we couldn't get him to break. So he took the gun from the police, shot our character in the head, and then shot himself in the head, which was... Very shocking. That didn't that didn't go to plan, that's for sure. Um, and then after that, as our nanny robot, um, we saved a little girl from domestic By the abuse. Way, I'm an ST two hundred model. I mean, I thought you might be interested to know that. Yeah, thanks, lady. Um, yeah, so as our, our nanny robot, we saved a little girl. She's going to be the leader of our robot resistance, I think. Um, we killed her dad. We shot him because he was just a piece of shit and deserved it. Um, and then our other character, Saiku, welcome in. Um, our other character is a sort of fashion model painter servant robot. And we ended up pushing Lance Hendrickson's son, who was being an absolute shithead, um, into a robot arm, which killed him. And then... Um, the police shot us and threw us in the junkyard and we rebuilt ourselves um, in out of spare parts, which was super cool. Super cool. Bit of Terminator action there. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much caught up. I think that's exactly the last thing we did is out of the junkyard, we rebuilt ourselves. We took a random junkyard cloak and put that on and walked into the night. We also removed the little... Okay Hang on, lady. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but... I'm here for you. Thank you. I needed that pet. Um, we also removed the little robot th temple loading chip thing. So now we just look straight at human. So that's kind of cool as well. So let's get cracking. Why not? Got my cup of joe. Got my people in chat. Everything's great. Also feeling way better after the flu. I'm pretty much 98%, I'd say. Hang on. Hang on. But, like, we were shot in the head. Oh, is this robot heaven, maybe? Okay.
care, I reckon, right? Because <laughs> they've got like healing skin as well. So when he cut it out, the skin just sort of glossed back over. Oh, she's got Hello, a sh shine to her hair. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. Ooh. You knew deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It was challenging because I didn't know what I was doing. Ah, uh, regrets. It could have killed everyone in the room. Previous Connor should have anticipated the danger. It was a mistake to let an armed policeman so close to the Deviant. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. One man's mistake. What do you make of him? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Adapt. Yeah, let's be a drunkard robot. I will adapt to his personality. Beansy! It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. And remember, kill them all. Count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Beansy, as an unemployed person, Hurry, Connor. every day's a weekend now. There's little time. It sucks. Ooh, look at those shoes. Uh, konnichiwa. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Ooh, okay. Let's do it. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. Damn. The Minister for Defense... The uprising isn't going too well. ...spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow Where's my or seat? Washington. Do I just sit anywhere? Mind if I sit here? No? Okay. Uh, excuse me, where do I sit? Over next to this guy? Oh, okay, cool. The van's in the house. Hello, Baltimore. It looks like someone subscribed. Thank you I'm so much. Give them a face waterfall of blood. 
I'm feeling much better. Yeah, I've just got the very small remnants of the flu, but I'm, I'm good. I'm, I feel good. Thank you so much for asking. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. The one with all the shit on it. Whoa, look at this cyber cop wear. Your move, creep. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. All right, so we do a sort of reverse Hadouken to sit down. Okay. What are these shoes? Maybe we can just rummage through his shit for a bit. Just um, mix up his audio book, where he's up to. Oh no. Knights of the Black Death. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Hmm. Clancy Brown. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. So any of you guys played this game before? I've played a little bit further than this. And there's some real weird shit coming up with the, um, the nanny. Real weird. Okay, cool. Cold coffee, traces of cafe. Man, look how filthy the inside of that mug is. Oh, he's a Detroit basketball fan, huh? More than 500 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. Red ice is what the, um, that drug that the uh, uh, domestic abusing husband that we killed was on. With a number of high profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and an iconic seized with the street value of half a mil, Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective said to be instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigation. Coming the youngest lieutenant in... You guys say lieutenant or lieutenant? I guess it depends if you're uh, American or English. Lou? Securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving in an integral member of force, Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue. Overdue hyphenated, that's weird. Describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with, the new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is ready to be tipped by the community. Fair enough. Cool. Jimmy's bar matches. Alright, let me catch up on chat. What do we have? 
Have I played it before? Uh, Beyond Two Souls. That's the one with, um, Elliot Page, right? I played a whole bunch. In fact, my, um... My avatar, when it's not the spider-eating girl... Um... It's, um, of Willem Dafoe from that game. Um, I didn't finish it, though. I played a lot of it. I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Can robots do drugs? I guess they'd need lungs for this one. I don't know if they got cyber lungs or not. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It could be a game for the future, yeah. Where we could just use, um... I don't remember what she called it. The sort of being that's tied to her can be pretty ruthless. I had the physical version of that game. Maybe I've got, like, the digital one in my catalogue. I'm not too sure. Let's see, Young Clans. What is your, um... Your most recognised Clancy Brown... Role? I think... For me, it's Lost, obviously, because I'm a massive, massive fan of Lost. But I think he's in Starship Troopers as well, right? He was the guy that demoted himself so he could jump into the action. Starship Troopers is great. Just the chair? We're gonna sit in his chair? Oh no, just random pubes. Okay, Saint Bernard. Oh. I reckon if Lisa ever saw a Saint Bernard in real life, she would lose her shit. She loves big dogs so much. Yeah, you can, Tongs. There's like, um... There's major scenes where you use the being to kill police. Like, you throw cars and shit at Hello, people. Lieutenant. Pretty cool. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. Mm -hmm. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent Ooh. me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Love a great Dane. Oh. That guy there that said Hank in my office. Let me let me tell you a little story about a movie called Loaded Weapon Part One. So Loaded Weapon, it's one of those movies, right? It's it's like a um, Naked Gun, Angie Tribeca, Aeroplane. It goes to that sort of that sort of humor. Um, throughout my life, my thirty nine years on this planet, I've tried watching that movie four times. Four times as of last weekend. And I always get to the scene where John Lovitz appears and then I fall asleep. And even going in last like couple of days ago, I thought, I'm going to stay up. I'm going to make sure I watch this movie to the end. And there is something about that movie that just puts me to sleep. And not only that, and maybe it's even tied to that. It's just not funny. There was two times where I slightly smirked, slightly, but... It's nowhere near as funny as, like, Frank Drebin or, you know, Angie Tribeca, for sure. I don't have any high five, fist bump, or handshake or twitch mode. Well, you know what you do have? You do have these. Yeah, with Emilio Estevez, exactly. There was one joke in it that I really loved as a kid. As I said, I've tried it throughout my life. So probably every seven years or so, I try to watch it. Um, it's the bit where he's, he's on the beach and you see that he lives in a caravan or a trailer, as you guys call it. And the moment he walks through the door, through the threshold, it's like a mansion inside, which I thought was really stupid and funny. But this time, it didn't make me laugh. I don't know how that movie ends. 
Devan, it's exactly that. Yeah. Yep. It's got um, Emilio Estevez as the Mel Gibson character, and it's got Samuel L. Jackson as the um, Danny Glover character. You know what's really funny is during the um, even Lethal Weapon, the famous quote, I'm too old for this shit, came from where, you know, Danny Glover's just too old for this shit, I guess. And he's like 40. Different times, I guess. I'm going to be back in one second. I'm just going to get my water bottle. All right, I'm back. And on the way to fill up my bottle of water, I did think of one, one of the jokes that was pretty funny, actually. Um, so Emilio Estevez and Samuel L. Jackson, they've just become partners and they're driving in the car and Emilio sort of, or maybe it was Samuel. I can't remember because you guys drive on the wrong, the other side of the road. But anyway, one of them goes, don't look now. It looks like we're being followed. And then you see in the back seat, there's like some criminals dressed in balaclavas. Like they're not being followed in the car behind, but they're literally sitting in the back. And he goes, oh, don't worry, I'll lose them. And he sort of swerves and then the camera cuts and you see the car sort of do like a power slide kind of thing. And then it comes back and there's no dudes in the back. It's pretty good. <laughs> the van. Well, uh, look. We both came from the English, right? And England still drives on the um, left side of the road. So you guys changed. <laughs> Lanx is in here. Um, is Loaded Weapon better than Radiohead? No. No, no, no. It is not. <laughs> but, I mean, in the right circumstances, they both have the power to put you to sleep. So... I need to watch it. Nah. Where did he go? So much has happened since we spoke to... Oh, that's right. Oh, I think the reason why I thought of Loaded Weapon is because the Sarge, right? This guy that pulled him in. They've got that stereotyped um, sergeant that he's just yelling all the time. Reminded me of him anyway. We're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal. He squares in the house. Hello. To deal with it before the shit hits the fan. He did. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Connor did Why die. Why I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Oof. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. <laughs> Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. It was a good conversation Jeffrey, to watch. Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. He was I'm indeed. about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ugh. 
I don't think he likes me, Chief. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. <laughs> I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. Argue with the boss like that? Oh, I wouldn't dare. I'm a... I was a model employee. I want to see if I can go stand in the um, police charging docks. Oh, it doesn't let me. This is as far as I can go. All right, Clance, what do we got? I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. That reminds me, there was actually a TV show. I don't remember what it was called, but it was Carl Urban and he had a robot. Um, he was a cop and he had a robot partner and it was pretty okay. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Is it worth um, watch for a fan of the previous seasons, minus the final episode? Yes, Saiku, because it'll take that bad taste out of your mouth of watching the final episode of Dexter. And it's only one season as well. It was pretty good. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. Ooh. There is one. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. Huh. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> oh, you like that. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. <laughs> wow, we had a murder investigation anyway. Can't be watching basketball when there's uh, murdering to be done. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? I can smell the it. Dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. Oh, there you go, Tom. Call him Sumo. Sumo is actually a good name for a dog. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Earth 2. I remember Earth 2. Holy shit. That's a blast from the past. I must have been... 11 when that came out, maybe? I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Hmm. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. And in Deviants, we meant the robot kind. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Sequest DSV? That was a show around that time, too. With Roy Scheider. 
Ooh. Android was nowhere to be found. Is that a... I haven't met that android before. Oh, hang on. Do we have a serial killer that's killing androids? Oh no, this is just all deviant behavior. Android lunged at him expect... Okay. Android trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Well, trashing a house isn't really a crime, is it? Sex android. Well, that's cool. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Tongs, I think that was Ocean Girl. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and... Hey, don't yeah. talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Ah, yes, he will, for sure. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until okay. you feel like work. Let's take a look at these samples. Report says they cut this. Listen, asshole. Yeah. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? Nasty clients. I'm sorry to disturb you. Just, I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. When I was in Japan, I went to Universal Studios and we um, went on the Jaws ride, which is like you're in a little boat and it takes you around a, um, a recreation of the, the Jaws town. And when Jaws came out of the water, the water splashed in my mouth. That was nasty. I got a lead. Oh, we're back at the, um, yeah, this is where things get weird from memory. Or should I say Bruce came out of the water and the water splashed me in the mouth. <laughs> that wasn't the Lizard Queen, no. <laughs> Though that, um, that did come up. Lisa. Stupid Lisa garbage face. <laughs> there you go. Stay asleep or I'll put you to sleep. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Uh, you don't have to watch Top Gun, the first one, but it would help. Both are excellent. You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. The second Top Gun is so good. It's just... It's just excellent. Absolutely excellent. Um, and it's even better when you realise that all the um, the cockpit stuff was real, no CG, so that all the actors were actually in the planes doing the maneuvers and acting at the same time. Cool as hell. Wow, oh, look at that toilet seat. Jesus. Someone's had like a, a rough sandpaper ass on that. Look at that.
You know what I never got as well? Like, whenever you go to... You can see it there. See the, um... Underneath the hairdryer, there's like the shaving kit port. Never once have I ever used that. And I've seen it in some people's houses and even going to Airbnbs that they've got that. Who who has a shaver port in their house? Ooh. Now it's like a little electronic thing that you um, you plug the the shaver in. Oh, we're we gonna rip it out. Oh, surgery. Hell yeah. Oh, we're just cutting our hair. I thought we we're gonna. Oh, it's. I really enjoy the um, finger gymnastics. I told you to trim those sideburns. Oh, that was a quick haircut. It does look pretty good, though. Oh, we can change our color? Okay. Let's, uh... What's white look like? Yeah, we'll go black. Why not? You know what's disgusting, Psycho, is like... That was the joke, right? Always seeing that picture of the... I guess that Mattingly guy with the, um... The shaved sides. And you go, gee, that's a real bad haircut. But now, the youth of these days have that haircut. They literally have these... Sh sh uh, like, shaved squares where their sideburns should be. Oh, yes, we're gonna remove the chip. Yoink. have a robot bath. You're I'm... pretty like that. Oh, thank you. You really look like a human now. Thank you. I'm an infiltrator model. Your bath's ready. Uh, you didn't make your bed. Looking through a list of 90 sci-fi shows that you, uh, remember? Space Rangers? Don't remember that one, unfortunately. Yeah, def definitely do. Definitely do. Uh, Keith, I, not only did I cut my hair, but I removed the blinking light on my temple. Which is kind of, like, huge. Oh. It's always fun to watch the TV shows. That'd be a cool job, is to create animation shorts for ga video games to play on TVs. Am I meant to run away? Oh no, here we go. So when I played last time, I actually didn't do the hold up the guy in the, um... I guess I was trying to go for a good run. So I didn't hold up the guy to steal the money to get the, um... Motel. I think I just slept in a car in the back of an alley. Cyber wildlife. Oh. 
Oh, Keith, no androids where you're from. Actually, they do, Keith, because there was, um, in Lance Hendrickson's home, there was little birds that the um, android sort of turned on and it had little blinking lights. Speaking of animals, um, last night, Lisa comes in from the garage and she says, oh, there's a, there's a mouse in the garage. Can you, like, get rid of it? Or, yeah, she was kind of, kind of grossed out by it. So I went in there and I saw it and it was the smallest mouse I've ever seen. It was so tiny. It was like... I don't know, the size of a marble with a tail. And I walked up right next to it and it didn't move. It was just sort of chilling out and I didn't want to touch it. So I got a can of um, compressed air and just sort of zhuzhed that in the air, just shh, shh. And each time I shh, it jumped a little bit forward and then it hopped outside. It was cute. It was really good. Thankfully, they have no access to our actual house. They just went into the garage just to, I don't know, chill out. What am I meant to do? 10.30 in the morning, huh? Yeah, I never... I always catch and release everything, even spiders. Like people are like, oh, you know, that's the weird thing, right? In a lot of media, all in one hit, when I was playing through the quarry, there was all this stuff about like, just people stomping on spiders and bugs and things like that. And I'm, it just, it's like, why would you do that? Like you can just get a glass and a piece of paper and just usher it outside. Like it didn't do anything wrong. Why kill it, you know? I would feel so guilty if I killed something, though. The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Just Douglas. I'm Just Douglas? So not like Douglas Smith or Douglas Williams. No choice. Just he Douglas. She hadn't stopped him. What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Yeah, it's weird, right? Convenient news timing. Like in movies and stuff, whenever they flip the channel or something, it's always at the start of a sentence. It's never midway through. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Oh. We're going to pull through this, Alice. As long as we're together, nothing can hurt us. Cyber hug. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. What's your go-to breakfast if you're on the go? Like, let's say you're in this situation. You're looking after a random little girl that you found on the street, and you have to go get some food. What are you getting? For me, it would be like coffee and some sort of pastry a danish or a croissant or or something like that that's that's the jam <laughs> oh no connor's here for me lieutenant anderson detroit police for 
female android robbed a store down the road last night. You see anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something wrong. Like <laughs> she came in last night. She was what do you think about this? No, there was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <laughs> Breakfast biscuits. Oh, you mean like the scone style biscuits, not like cookies. Because sometimes I'll eat breakfast biscuits in the car. that are like cookies. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. <laughs> All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. I would love to try American biscuits, though. It's just something you can't... Like, I always hear that, um... A 100% certified, certified got them. Red Lobster's meant to have the best ones. Cheddar biscuits or something. Never had it. Maybe I should buy some of the, um... Dry mix online and then make my own. American gravy as well sounds really good. You know what I'm a sucker for that we never ever cook here, but you guys do, is cornbread. Cornbread is so great. Um, I would say s slightly sweet, not like super sweet, not like banana bread sweet, but just enough to taste the corn in a sense. Oh yeah, you don't want to be, you want to have a dry ass cornbread. It's gone. Ooh, we got some Metal Gear. Oh, okay. That's cool. Hang on. It's pointing over here. Oh, we're getting a cap. I'll look at chat in a second, it's just uh, a little bit crazy at the moment. Did it? Are you 
okay? Don't say you want to go home. I did all this shit for you, kid. Well, that was a successful sneaking mission. I guess the um the alternative is I got caught by the cops. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the location of android. Oh, here we go. We've got Hediochromia now, which is great, because we stole some other poor robot's eyeball. Well, the last we checked, we were completely naked apart from this, um... Oh, we found some pants and a shirt, I see. You guys ever watched the TV show Jericho? It was okay. They missed you. Did you spare some change? Change these. Um, Jericho had Skeet Ulrich, whatever his name is, from Scream in it. Um, it was about, I think, nukes went off in the world and pretty much wiped out most people, except for there was like this town called Jericho that they lived in. And I think one of the premises, they found a nuke in that town as well that hadn't gone off or something. Oh, that's what I was after. Tech addict. Eh. Got no time to read. Find the graffiti. I thought. Okay. Oh, there it is. Hang on. Skeet's character in Scream feels very... Feels very to a character in Twin Peaks. It's very similar. Okay. Twin Peaks is... I haven't seen the new season of Twin Peaks. Only a couple of episodes with Steve when he came over. But we, we watched um, Twin Peaks old school together all the way through. It was funny because Lisa had planned to watch it too and she watched like two episodes and said, no, this is too fucking weird for me. I cannot handle it. So Steve and I watched it together. It's, it's good. I have a, um, a huge similarity with Agent Cooper where black coffee and cherry pie is the best. Or graffiti, huh? Find the next graffiti. Oh, there it is. Sounds like some um, off-brand Beastie Boys.
It does have a bit of a watchdogsness about it. Yeah. Can I just walk across here? No, I can't. Hmm. Find the next graffiti. I mean, that's the only bit of graffiti there, right? You know, Watch Dogs 2 is such a great game. If you've never played it before, you don't even need to... Oh, there it is there. You don't even need to play the first one. Looks like this alley right here, I would say. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, there's two of them, okay. Pick them up. Ooh. Twelve dollars, that's... Oh, that's probably twenty dollars for me or so. But, um... Yeah. You could probably get number two for like a dollar now or something like that. It's definitely worth giving a shot. It's fun to run around San Francisco. Okay, we're a rebel. Hey, you wanna play some ball? Find the graffiti. Okay. Is the PC one? I think the PC one came out today or something, didn't it? I never really played GoldenEye that much because I never had a Nintendo 64. It was, it was kind of at like friends' places and things like that. But it never felt really that fun because I was always into like Doom and Duke 3D and Quake and, and all that around that time. Okay, chain link fence and robots. I mean, that's a chain link fence. We'll keep that in the maybe pile. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's hidden. I was... Oh, that was the side Okay. Four player on one console. Yeah. Suspicious. Can I shift this, move it or something? No. Oh, that's cool. Look at the shark. Ooh. Terminated.
Find a way to reach the roof. Okay. What about this? It's got wheels. Yep. So I was actually a Sega Master System kid. Which, I don't think many people in the US had Sega Master Systems. Correct me if I'm wrong though, but... Well, it's because the when you turn it on, it goes, Sega! Like, it doesn't go, Sega. Like, it actually voiced that. It's, it's the Mario Mario thing, I think, is the way it's pronounced. Like, I don't know. It's It literally said Sega, or at least here it did. But now everyone says Sega these days, so I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't care too much. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, there's a white one. That's that's cheeky. All right, Mr. Sparkle. Ooh. Some parkour. That would be death. There we go. Wall run. Mr. Sparkle. All right, there's three on there. That's that's good. Gotta get close. One. Two. This is, this is kind of fun, you know, to actually... Oh, that'd be death. Okay. Alright, let's try this one. I actually like this a lot. It's, it's a cool idea. Too high, okay. So a big hole in the wall and a column. This looks like a hole in the wall. If we turn around. 
I don't actually see it in that photo though. Oh, unless it's one of those perspective things? Maybe? Oh no, there, yeah it is. There it is. Oh, I've got to get it just right. I, I mean, if it didn't have momentum on the character, it'd be good. Oh, there we go. Okay, some... Oh, it's the other side of this. Jericho, it looks like a boat or a ship. Oh, should have computed that. Yeah, okay. What? Psycho, where are you up to with the um, American Circle? I think we just finished episode 8, maybe? Tarzan swing. Oh no, it's a diving platform. How are you guys when it comes to diving? I am so scared of heights that I could never even consider it. Ah, uh, the circle, Devan. swan dive kind of oh we don't have a jacket anymore I guess it was too heavy oops that's fun oh great so Devan, without any spoilers, have you seen the UK version of the circle? Because it's even better. It's so good. Ooh, just a cheeky torch or flashlight. robots would have like night vision built in yeah the UK version is the best I think that was the original as well 
It's set in the actual same house and everything. Oh, not house. Apartment complex. They should have just called this instead of Jericho the HMS Tetanus. P came out then. <laughs> Piss. <laughs> Might need a tissue after that one. By the way, I'm not sure how many of you managed to catch the VOD of uh, part two of Loom, but um, we finished it on Thursday. And that ending, wowza. <laughs> he tried to make a jetpack with two bottles of soda. That's hilarious. Maybe you just needed some Mentos to go in there as well. And he would have been set. Whoa! Oof. Fatality. My robot army? It looks like that Christopher guy from Welcome to Jericho. Oh no. Thought it looked like the guy from Inglorious Bastards. Alright, bear with me for one second. I'm just uh gonna grab a tissue. I just saw a little rum. She's in her basket. So cute. So cute. How you doing? Chicken feed, huh? Number five on the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You want to flutter? Last shit hot tip you gave me. Sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on. This is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Pedro Abda. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Look at the cyber fingers. Hey, won't regret this. What is 
is your problem. Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I wonder if Connor can eat. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, he sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. There you go. There is actually a way for them to be good friends, actually. I think I did it last time. Gary Kays. Born in 1988. That would make him... 1250. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Yeah, there's a reason for Amazon severing their ties with Clarkson. Everyone should sever their ties with Clarkson. He's a piece of shit. See? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> and you made a bet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Uh, as in Clarkson said something offensive? Is that what you mean? done a lot more than say offensive things. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate Android so much? I have my reasons. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they're fucked up. <laughs> Brutal. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? <laughs> yep. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. And? He did. I failed to prevent it. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. Ooh. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. 
Yeah, one of the Clarkson things is he, he punched the producer for giving him a cold steak or he's he came in late and his food was a little bit cold, so he punched him, which is you run out of batteries or what? Disgusting behavior. I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberline. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? Ooh, we built no. a bond. Look at this. I'm coming. Clance is a little bit happy with us. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise. Rock pigeon. We're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Kick it in. Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Shouldn't we stand in front of him, considering we're kind of expendable? Oh. Hey, the Dharma Initiative. That's totally, like, lost. So many birds. Jesus, this place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Lost is so good. Nah, fuck those people. So, Andy Dufresne. Oh, okay. something I don't know it looks like a notebook but it's indecipherable All right. rag 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 any idea what it means RA9 written 2471 times it's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Oh, it's so weird because Clance was in Lost. So it's like the Dharma Initiative and him and... Oh my gosh.
still wet, used recently. Oh, Damas fell. Oh yeah, he got out his chip. There you go. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things. Uh, Psycho, yes you do. Absolutely you do. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. RT, fine. Skid marks? Hopefully it's not uh, real skid marks. Yeah, they do. They sure do. They explain pretty much everything, to be honest. Which is why I was totally cool with it, and then when people are complaining and... You find out about the polar bear way, way before the last season, though. I do like these reconstruction things. Cyberpunk did it a little bit as well, and remember there was, um... In fact, Nina mentioned it on her stream the other day. Remember Me, I think it was called. Ooh, he's in the roof! That's not really Shit, fair. Fuck, we had it. It took me out of a quick time Sorry. event. Doesn't matter. We know what it looks like. It won't oh. get far. Come on, let's get out of here. Seen enough vegetables for one day. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't programmed to fail. Oh, well, you fucked up, Connor. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe letting him get away is okay for our robot army. It sound very mass affecting. Rupert got away. Christopher Waltz, is that the guy's name that I was thinking? Who are you? 
Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. No. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. Is she someone? If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. She looks familiar. Like, the actress, that is. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? Ah, uh, yeah. That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to look her up. She's... She's in something I've seen recently. I'm sure of it. Oh, hello. You're looking great. I've heard humans are afraid of dying, too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. People steal our parts. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. Let's dance. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Chongs, I was just remembering how um, gory Bloom was. How out of the blue. That's a good video, Saiku. That's a very good video. I like all of these to get some. Sure can. that one it's still got fuel in it oh this one may be there they sure did oh man I could have used some extra legs I just got junkyard legs This guy is huge. I like these. Oh. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. What was your function before coming here? 
What do you care? That'd be so rude. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Maybe she was a tennis player. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. I just came here for manners, lady. Just pure, unadulterated, good manners. Are these going out or... I don't know. Feel my leg, Sarge. My diagnostic program isn't working. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. <laughs> what happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to shut down. you singing in there? Do a quick pass before we go in there. Looks like someone killed a little girl. Right, that's the f first uh, death in our robot army. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. Hmm. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Robot kids, yeah, probably for, like for adoption and things like that. I don't know. Or they're our best infiltrator model. They can get in and kill all the humans. No worries. Rag, 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 rag. All right, time to go sing. See the singing robot. Keep it quiet, please. I'm trying to robe it around here. Oh, she's got no head. Oh, Are she... you Lucy? Jeez. Sit down. Show me. What are we showing exactly? Oh. I'll stop the bleeding. Ah, the old fire poker trick.
drink this? That's cool. You can just replenish your blood by drinking it. There's some hairy eyelashes. That tasted like shit, lady. Give me your hand. Come with me if you want to live. You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. <laughs> yeah. Pose a plan to Simon. All right, Simon, where are you? Well, that's you there. All right, we need a lot of guns. Machine guns, preferably. Bandoliers, so I don't run out of ammo. Oh, your eyes are Simon. weird. Oh, okay, they're just shut. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. Hell yeah. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Hell yeah, North. Maybe it's worth a try. Yeah, you better be in. Cool. Oh, this bit's fucked. This is so fucked. You gonna be okay? We'll get some help here. Soon this will all be just a bad memory. Not ominous at all. Ominous is my middle name, in fact. Oh, Keith place. knows what's what. You know, as soon as we go through the door, we're going to hear this. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Baltimore. You've been <laughs> raided. Any of us could be the killer. Hold it out! Nina, you're the one who accused him! Brad Craze is in here, He's hello. Drake. Welcome in. Is this your plane? Well, that was something. I think I've played this. I don't remember what it was called, though. Hell yeah. Spetsnaz, welcome in. We're just uh, playing through um, Detroit. Beyond Human, I think it's called, but this is our um, our own special feature where we're trying to make our robot army rise up against the humans. So it is Baltimore destroy humans. Um, sit back and relax and watch some weird shit happening. You're in good company.
Oh, were you? Ah, excellent. Cool. Story games on Fridays. Yeah, we do similar things. So um, just a little bit of background on our channel here. Um, Thursday nights, Australian time, we do midweek point and click, which is our adventure game point and click um, feature. We go through different point and click games um, each week. And then on um, Saturday mornings, we usually either do found footage, which is um, what this segment is. Uh, we went through all the super massive games, um, you know, the quarry and the dark pictures games and things like that, all with the intention of making it more like a horror movie where no one survives. So while this isn't a super massive game, it's it's sort of close to the same kind of feel. So that's what we do here. We um we go for a little bit of a different playthrough. Um, normally I'd have a camera and everything, but it's busted at the moment, so you'll just have to deal with my uh, my pixel me. But story games are great. All right. Um, not sure how far, Brad, you are through um, Detroit at the moment, but um, yeah, we're just going into the haunted house, as you can see here. Are you his light coat? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. Reminds me a bit of um, John I Goodman. Who told you that? From you came to the wrong Lane. place. I'm sorry. Wait. Are oh, you beating it? Okay, cool. We really need your help. I think I've only beaten up to this part, like after this sort of section is resolved. Come in. Shy. Oh man, I have just bad memories of this place. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Luther's a monster. Look how big he is. Please. Make yourselves at home. Why are your fingers blue, good sir? How do you yeah, hear about me? Yeah, we're enjoying it for sure. An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I actually like the I David think. Cage games. I know a lot of people are a little bit weird about them, but I enjoy them a lot. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's as real as they come. She's human. And... You want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Hello? Yes, there. Hello, Baltimore. Someone new is following you. Looks like I've got competition. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Can you tell me why you're covered in blood, though, good sir? Come on. Follow me. Your shirt is stained with it. The little one can wait for us in the living room. No, Absolutely, Carl. Stays with me. Of course. Oh, look how dirty this guy is. Everything we need is in the basement. Yeah, sorry, sir. I'm just going to look at your absolutely filth bag table here. Hang on, here we go. Can't really get in there, but... You know, ashtray there. 
But you know, fuck it. Let's just put the cigarettes out on the table itself. I mean, that would be the first thing that would trigger me to go, this guy isn't who I might think he is. It's like shoes on the bed, isn't it, Tongs? Speaking of shoes on the bed, Saiku, trigger warning. There's episodes of The Circle coming up I like this place. And that where people are wearing place shoes and jumping on the bed and couch. Alice, we have nowhere else to go. We have to trust him. Ah, <laughs> oh, when you see it, you'll know it. What's in this pen? Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. Why not both? The little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Oh yeah. This way, please. There's something I want to say that reminds me of this, but I reckon it would give away what's going to happen. So I'm, I'm just going to maybe I'll say it when it happens. If you could just stand over there. What on this suspicious thing? Sure. Oh, that's the plan. It's weird because I didn't actually pick up originally when I was playing this. This could be quite unpleasant. That he was covered in blood. That. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. That's why it's so hard to find them. Oh, uh, what? So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that. Yeah, the people believe what they want. But I'm another kind of deviant. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Lock it up. Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. I'm Muto. So deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Not on my watch. Can I break out? We can't. what you get for having a dream it always ends up the same way tears and disillusionment believe me you're better off being erased and feeling nothing no more pain no more hopes dashed I almost envy you Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. Oh. You bit me. Good girl. I'm going to teach you some manners, you little bitch. Oh. All right, you. Meet me in the living room. (laughs) 
Ticklebits is in the house. How you doing? Gank. Hang on. Hang on. Oh no, I didn't fail the yanks. I'm sure I successfully yanked. Because it, it was just push, push it down, you know? I don't know. It's weird. I'm red and I'm just... Elbows. Damn straight we will. Yes. Yeah. It's like the kid in Toy Story that lives next door. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. A teddy. Oh, gee. You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. If I can go back in the lab, maybe I can get my memories. They sure are. down here. Snip, snip.
Merlin mi konuştu? He's got an ostrich. Hmm, what other memories do I need? I mean... Oh yeah, maybe looking at the ashtray? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is a big pool table. Is that competition standard or what? Now, the question is, do you pronounce it snooker like it's really meant to be pronounced? Or do you say snooker, which is like some weird hybrid strangeness? Snooker? Yeah. No! My name's Kara. Okay, so we're almost there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, what else could... Do you guys think there's any more memories down here, or should I go up? Maybe seeing the little girl will... add the extra? Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a different game using the same things. Nothing here. I'm just worried that we don't have enough memory. Uh, let's do it. Uh, just set it down on the table over there.
He seems like not the type of dude to um, cover up for modesty's sake. Get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It's forgotten the word. Oh, yeah. You know, I walk down on me for a fucking accountant! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lacko. I do wonder why the mother didn't get custody. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lachlan. They should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with them. Understood, Lachlan. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Oh, shit! Come on, now! Oh gosh. Oh, it's a polar bear. Man, this is so lost, isn't it? There's so many lost things in here. Let's do it. Hey, boy. You're not meant to be facing that way. Oh, it's the red eye stuff. Yes! We're gonna shut you down. Sorry. Fatality. Oh, he didn't have much of a life in a bathtub, though. The alternative is he squeals and I get caught. Oh man, this is a maze. Oh, 
Hot. Whoops. Alright, I'm gonna try and go through the door where Luther is and see what happens. He's not gonna like it. Oh, hang on. <gasps> Shotgun! Ah! Come on. We can do this. It's not loaded. Take, Take a, a look, look at, at this! this. <laughs> oh no, we don't want to read the Detroit today. Come on. Hang on. Where's the little girl then? Probably one of these. Oh yes, we got her. Alice. Clara. Clara, you remember me. Oh, Boy, I do I. You. I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come here. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, son. Not go! What? The little one is gone! Well, I can't have just disappeared. It's gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look! This is tense. Can't see. It's so awkward holding these. Luther, what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Coming. No. Literally a Terminator. Robbins is dead. We know the front door is locked, so that's good. Run 
I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Yes, Luther. Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Kill him! How dare you? Yeah, there's our zombie army. Finish him! <laughs> Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! Fatality. Yes! <laughs> he programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. Oh, yeah? I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Yeah, and I guess because there's no robots allowed in Canada, but if they remove their, their LED... That was awesome. Woof. You know, I was really nervous at some points because there was two instances where I missed the prompt for getting shot with the shotgun and I managed to survive it. Thank goodness. Holy crap. Awesome. Well, that's actually, this is the exact moment where I played up to last time. I haven't continued from here. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll actually call it here and then it'll be completely fresh for all of us next time. Uh, wouldn't a life in Canada be very suspicious if the robot, if there are no robots allowed and then never eat and drink. Yeah. I wonder if they're, if they can physically eat and drink just to keep up appearances. Not too sure. Maybe. All right, I'm just going to switch across. Oh, wow, there's no one. Usually there's um, more people on to raid, so maybe we won't even raid. Um, that's okay. Have a look. Canadians are too polite to ask. Why they aren't eating or drinking. And I guess if you ask, are you a robot? They're, they're even more too polite to even ask if they're a robot or not, right? So it is probably the best cover. And it's kind of like the opposite of Terminator 2. See, in Terminator 2, they, they went to Mexico. But in this, they're going to go to Canada instead. Maybe poutine is the, um, is the key to it all. Awesome. Well, I thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, that was really fun. Really fun. And I look forward to streaming some more. Um, hopefully I can get my camera up and running before then. Um, there is just being super, super weird at the moment. So I don't know, I'll do some, do a bit of research and all that. But anyway, thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Devan, for the, um, for the resub. And, um, Thank you so much for our new followers in the raid earlier as well. That was excellent too. Um, hopefully you can find some good times on this channel for sure. All right. Enjoy your weekend. Have a fantastic one. And we'll catch you next time. Toodles.